Hi, this is John. Welcome back. Um, today I'm introducing brand new versions of Photoshop and Premiere Elements 2025, starting with the editor and the amazing new remove tool, which is powered by artificial intelligence. I then move on to the video editor, which is based on um, Adobe's Pro application, so a brand new interface and finally, I'll be talking about the new licensing model. So stay tuned. The new remove tool is powered by Adobe's artificial intelligence. You can remove unwanted objects from your photo simply by painting over them and then doing a single click to remove the unwanted items replaced with Adobe's um, AI content. Um, with travel photos, it's the same process to remove tourists from your photos, simply paint over them, click and they're gone. I have a more detailed tutorial and I've placed the link in the description below this video. We have a new interface for replace object color with built-in um, presets and blend modes to optimize your color changes. The new interface also lets you tweak the layers which are automatically created for levels adjustments and for hue saturation. And there are also set presets for changing the difficult colours to black and to white. It's a new interface for replace object colour in Photoshop Elements 2025. The new Depth Blur tool is powered by artificial intelligence and it automatically analyzes the focal plane like a camera, applying blur to parts of the image. It's also possible to do this manually by adding a spot, for example, um, from the front to the back, to apply blur as a camera would. The new Combined Photos interface enables you to extract subjects and place them into different backgrounds to complete your own interesting composite image. The interface also allows you to match the foreground and background lighting and to make other adjustments. Adobe Stock is also built in, meaning you can use lots of interesting backgrounds to complete your composite. In this version, we get an additional 20 modern textures, bringing the total to 30. These are applied on top of your own image, and Adobe automatically creates a texture layer with layer mask, where you can tweak the results to your own liking. So those are all of the new features um, in Elements 2025. There are a few other enhancements as listed here. The Adobe Virtual Assistant is a beta app. It's only available at the present time on Mac OS and is found under the Help menu. And if you click that uh, button, it launches and gives you a welcome. And you can ask questions or um, select um, topics. Um, if you do use it on Mac, then please let um, Adobe have your um, feedback. The other a new enhancement is concerning the UI for notifications and pop-ups, which you can now um, set your own options in prefs. And Adobe has introduced a kind of um, email um, version. And if you click on this envelope icon at the top right, it opens up the box for preferences. You can um, select different options for pop-ups and preferences, or you can keep everything turned off. So uh, that's notifications. Quick actions, if I go to the quick tab, the only real new quick action is this depth blur, which I've already demonstrated previously. And I have an in-depth tutorial, um, which is shown in the links at the bottom of this uh, video. Um, also, they've added um, these motion buttons. These are not really new, they've been available in previous versions of Elements under the Enhance menu, but I think having them in the Quick Actions improve discoverability. Adobe have introduced some music presets, so you can use these music presets that have been introduced with this 2025 version 
And at the top of each section for overlays, graphics and frames, you will find this new one-click download. In the past it was only possible to download one at a time, but now you can download um, everything for each section so that they are instantly available when you need them. The other enhancements relate to the organizer. With Elements 2025, Adobe has introduced a new player for viewing GIF files or GIF files. Double clicking opens the new um, player and as you can see um, with this um, particular one, it will repeat until you press um, pause. That's the new player for, for, for GIFs. Um, we can now filter using these buttons in the organizer near the top right here, these blue buttons allow us to hide various items. So if I wanted to see all videos only, I could hide photos, audio tracks and projects by clicking those um, buttons. It would just show videos only, as you can see. And um, likewise, if I um, wanted to show audio only, I could do that, but I have no audio in the catalogue, as you, as you can see. So to see everything, keep them all highlighted. The other enhancement is the synchronization of sorting order and it now follows the sort order of the all media window so mine is set to newest and that will also apply to albums the only exception being if you have albums set to album order and you've already set your own custom order that will not be affected one final thing to mention is that um, under the open menu adobe has introduced a new way of bringing files in from mobile using a QR code. So if you have the Elements Web Beta app installed on your phone, you can bring photos from Camera Roll directly into Editor and use the power of all the editing tools, including layers and text, etc. So that's for everything in Photoshop Elements and Organizer for 2025 version. So. I'm now going to move on to um, Premiere Elements 2025. The brand new version of Premiere Elements 2025 is a totally different look. This is based on the coding for Adobe's professional video editor. And uh, it will take a little bit of a learning curve um, for most people. And uh, I've been using it for a short while and um, I'm very impressed with it and I think it bodes well for the future um, in particular because it's using the same coding we are likely to get much more um, advanced updates um, every year when Adobe brings out a new version on the right hand side we have tools for um, the usual things like candid moments and color match but we also have this new color grading panel and um, that, um, when we select a clip, that opens up all these sliders. Um, that for those who are familiar with Camera Raw or, or Lightroom, they will know how powerful these um, sliders are, especially for making adjustments to our videos in the highlights and the, and the shadows. We also have some um, basic LUTs for import, and this is for um, those of you who shoot your footage in log, such as Canon Log or Apple Log, etc. Um, we also have more LUTs in the creative section, and these are um, different film type LUTs, different looks that you can apply to your videos. You can also import third party LUTs if you um, can download them from the, from the web. And we have these colour wheels and we also have a tone curve for the first time in Premiere Elements. So I'll just close that down. Under the um, FX panel, the effects, these are um, basically drag and drop. And as before, the um, transitions are also drag and drop. The left hand side is where we import our videos and um, this can be from Elements Organizer from files and folders, or we have this brand new media browser, which I've really enjoyed using, which lets us um, drill down into our um, folder structure and um, bring media straight into the uh, project, um, the, sorry, the program monitor or the source monitor where we can add in and out points. 
They then appear in the project assets as before, and we can just drag to the timeline um, to, to use them in our projects. We have lots of brand new titles and um, ways of editing them and changing the text to our own text. The music panel also has um, far more content and um, much faster download. And then we have a new graphics panel with lots more choice. So this is the brand new version of Premiere Elements 2025. I'm sure you'll have fun using it like I have. And I have made a more detailed video showing you the way around this new um, application and the way I've been using it. So, um, I'm not saying that my way is correct, but it should give you a good starting point for beginners. I'm now turning to licensing. And as you may have heard, Adobe Photoshop Elements and Adobe Premiere Elements are no longer perpetual licenses and they will now be sold on the basis of a three-year term license. So this is not a subscription model where you pay monthly, you will still pay a fixed price and you will have use of the software for a period of three years before it expires. And this may sound a little bit daunting to old timers, but I think a lot of people probably upgraded their software every two to three years anyway, or when they needed to upgrade their operating system. I'm not entirely sure what the pricing will be, but I understand it will be around $100 or €100 Euros for a single application. Um, if you do combined editing of videos and still photos, the combo is usually um, the best offer that I think will be around $150. And again, Adobe will have a student and teacher edition for those in education. And that's usually the best price of all, although I don't know the exact figures. Obviously, prices vary from region to region. If I compare elements with the Creative Cloud plans, um, the cheapest seems to be $9.99 per month. That includes the full Creative Cloud version of Photoshop together with Lightroom. So that's roughly $120 a year. $360 over three years compared with $100 for Photoshop Elements if you keep it for three years. So I think it's still a good deal personally. Um, what I've done is I've put together a detailed PDF with all the ins and outs of the change of licensing and you're welcome to download it from my Dropbox account. Um, there's no need to sign up for Dropbox, you can go straight to the download and get it free of charge. So, thanks for watching this video. That's all I have to say on this um, new iteration of Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements 2025. And I just thank you for watching. If you get some value from these videos, please give a thumbs up. And it will help me if you can subscribe if you haven't already done so. So I hope you enjoy watching all the videos, including the links that I've put below this one. And see you next time. Bye bye for now.